Okay, we're going to talk about chapter four, uh, causes of conflict, part two. Uh, last week we talked about the cause of conflict. We mentioned about price. It's the cause of all the church problem. It's the be beginning of all mistake, all sin. But today we will concentrate on personality because we all have different personality and we don't understand each other because we don't respect the differences. And when Jesus compared the church as a body of Christ, it means that we all different part, but work for the same body. Jesus is the head and we are different part. So we need to expect that we all differences, but we still work together for God. And in this chapter, we will go back to see that uh, this theory we call MBTI, personality type. Uh, this theory talk about 16 differences, major personality that human have. So they divide all human into 16 groups. But in fact, 16 group is not enough to explain everything. But at least they say that 16 main group of personality in every church, every culture, every society. So in this chapter, we try to learn about the 16 different groups of people in church. Uh, we talk about how they think, how they feel, how they react. This is the main thing about different people in our church, in our community. So why we need to know about them? Well, this theory will help us to understand people differently. <clears throat> Some people will be quiet. Some people will talk a lot. Some people will use a lot of thinking. Some people will be very emotional. Some people will do everything quietly. Some people will be loud all the time. So this daily will help us to understand different group of people and how to work with them. And for us, the 16 different daily about personality will help us understand other people and work together. Now, this 16 different group of personality will divide in four different uh, group first. So this four different group will teach us Then we start here. They divide all people into big group first, extroverts and introverts that we call. Extrovert is all we call extraversion. It's the people who are outgoing, love society, love to talk, open up, very friendly, very emotional, and another group we call introvert or introversion mean that that's society and love to work alone and quiet. So these two main groups in every church, when you look in general, you see two groups flies away. The one who talk a lot, open up, love, society love to get together and another group always at the corner quiet don't talk don't get involved that two main group now these two main group will have different way of reaction now you took uh the extrovert will the way they <clears throat> take information for example when you 
let them think about something or give them some information. Uh, the extrovert will use can be both. Some will use the scent, mean that they want to hear, they love to listen <clears throat> and act by what they feel. Another group of extroverts will think first in before they act. So you see that we use E as extroverts and we use I for the introvert to be short. And later on, we will combine the extrovert with S. <clears throat> this extrovert love sensing, this extrovert love intuition. Now you need to remember the symbol E, I, S, N, T for thinking, F for feeling, J for judging, P for perceiving. Why? Because later on we will combine all this symbol to make different group, 16 group. E, S, E plus S plus T plus J going to be one group. E plus N plus F plus P can be another group. So now these two main group will plus with different symbol to tell that uh, different people react differently. And what is the main thing when something come to their life, they will react different way. And when the church need to make decision, this group, some group will think first, some group will use feeling to make decision. And when something happened, uh, one group will judge the situation lies away by using judging. Another group will perceiving mean that they will take it and don't judge lies away. So you see that extroverts still have choices when they uh, face a situation. They will think or they will react, they will uh, show their feeling or they will keep it. And introverts person also have choices. Not all introverts are the same. They can group too. And not all extroverts are always the same. So that two main groups will divide into subgroup. And this is the theory about 16 group of people in church. I know that it might be a little bit confusing, but later on you will get more clearer that no one group is the same thing or no one person is the same thing. Maybe you have some experience with some people before. And when you met another new people, you think that, oh, they're going to be the same thing, no. Something might be similar, but a lot of things are going to be different. No one, no two person is always the same. Even identical twin is not the same. If you have a lot of friends who I two were uh, uh, identical twin, you can tell that even they are identical twins, they still have different thinking, feeling, reaction. Some might outgoing, some might very quiet, some may talk a lot, some may be never talk at all. Even identical twins. So the whole point is everyone is different from another person. Nobody are the same. And this daily will teach us how to deal with different person in different way. Now you see that some group, they say they are green, mean that they use scent a lot. Some group, we call them yellow, mean that they think a lot. They uh, put everything inside. They don't show their feeling. The blue mean that this is deep thinker. 
And the red mean that this is the strong feeling. <clears throat> so sometimes we use color to tell different group of people by the way they think, the way they react. <clears throat> and this theory will go on. Now this is the symbol of 16 group. I, S, T, J. I form introvert, sensing, thinking, judging. This is the first group. And the second group we call I, S, F, J, mean introvert, sensing, feeling, judging. So now you see that all this stand for. Uh, you might write it down here, so it is, uh, I should put it down here, so <clears throat> it is uh, for you to see, maybe somewhere here. I stand for S stand for And J stand for just so they will mix all this thing. Let's see. N for <clears throat> let's see. So what's all that <clears throat> I as F, okay, F stand for feeling. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see what's L. Oh, E. E stand for extrovert. And P for Okay, this is the um, uh, one, two, three, eleven until sixteen. So this is the 16th group. Uh, in every church, in every committee, they will see that you will have 16th group of people, at least. Some might mix up two, some might mix up three, but mainly, uh, later on, the lecture will explain is ISTP. And I say that I for this is the introvert who use sensing and thinking and judging mainly. This is the group. And the second group we call introvert too, mean the quiet person who still use sense and use feeling and use judging. So you see that they try to divide people in different groups. And the main thing is, I, you see that X group start with I, mean that this X group is morally quiet people. And another X group start with E, mean that they are extrovert. 
they are opening, they are outgoing, but even the outgoing have a different group. And uh, the quiet one have a different group too. The quiet one still sometimes have feelings, sometimes have judging. The way that they act, the way they think still not the same thing, but main group is some group quiet, some group, some group is talk a lot, but still they're not the same thing. In that quiet group, there are eight group. In that talkative group, there are also eight subgroup in this theory. So here, I explain more in detail that like ISTJ, the introvert group, the quiet group still have this first group they call, they are li, li, in this theory maybe that this group, they are sensible, reliable, pay attention to detail. John, uh, the one that you just wrote about the in, what does that stand for? Right there. In, uh, you talk about in or which one? Yeah, that's the one in intuition. Oh, intuition. Yeah, in that's the, a, in is a uh, in stand for the uh, uh, stand for that. Yeah, because there are two eyes. So one, one you see that introvert and intuition is start with I. So this one they use in instead. Oh, got it. Different. So if not, you can fill with to end. I got it. Thank you. Intuition. So mainly, a group is the quiet group. Another a group is the talkative group. But in that quiet group, there are eight subgroup. And in that talkative group, also eight subgroup. So this is will help tell the detail. For example, the first quiet group. They're quiet, yes, but they are reliable people. They pay attention to detail. This is the first quiet group. They have good strength. They're dependable. They're systematic. They work hard. This is clear of the quiet group. <clears throat> but their personality is they have a set standard of judging things. Uh, they are quiet, but they work hard. And they tell us that if you are this group, what your job, good job for you, you can do the job that have a career goal, realistic deadline. You work well with all the detail. This is the first group. <clears throat> when this group under stress, how do they act? They will go quiet. They will rely on logic. And they don't let emotion rule over them. How about relationship of the first group? They will uh, get deep relationship with you if you are the one who value tradition. And you obey order. This first group is care about tradition, order. <clears throat> So this is something detailed about the first group. Uh, it's not exactly all correct though, but this is some thread or some guideline about the first group, who they are, what they think, what they believe, and what they can do well. So it takes some time to understand each group. And this is the first group. <clears throat> so I want you to spend some time to learn about each group. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is the first quiet group. And later on, you go to the second quiet group. They are green. Their personality, uh, they have a big commitment to other, this second quiet group. They have good strength. You see all the quiet group have this group. You see, start with introvert. They use their sense a lot. They use their feeling a lot, but they make good judgment too. So this is the second quiet group. <clears throat> uh, 
But because they very, the second group very careful, they take time to think, to make decision. And they might not throw out the, uh, that strong feeling or thinking right away because they're quiet. But they are good organizer. They are very patient, dependable. They are the people who can support other people very well. This is the second quiet group. When they understood, uh, they will feel very pessimistic and they will withdraw the second group. So this is the character of the second uh, quiet group. <clears throat> but they have a good commitment to their group, their partner. Even they quiet, they can do a very good job doing a lot of good things. So I will stop a little bit on the second quiet group because I know all the symbol is so confusing and I want you all reflection a little bit how you feel about this daily. It's a lot. Uh, when I start studying this daily, I say, oh, it's a lot. <clears throat> but what the useful of this daily? Because the author believed that we are different. But a lot of time we don't see the differences. So this daily come in time to explain to us that each person are different. They think, they react, what they do, not the same thing. We always think that they're all the same, but in fact, they're not the same. <clears throat> now, how can you tell that your people, which group they are? <clears throat> Well, it's difficult. So this daily will have a test for them. They need to do the test, answer a lot of questions. And after they give you the point to make, to decide that which group you are in. The question will, will concentrate on the situation. When something happened, how you react, what you think, what you feel. So when you, you choose the answer, they give you the point. And the point add up to tell that which group you are. So you cannot guess, but you need to go to do the exam, to do the test. And after the test, they can tell that you are in which group. If you ask me that this daily reliable, well, it's not 100% reliable, but at least they give you some guideline to know the people. Uh, this is similar to all the psychological tests that I don't know some of you may ever take some tests before. Some job demand you take psychological tests or some school might ask you to do some tests and then did not tell you that you go through this test for what, but they decide about how is your personality and you fit the job or not. Or you can do well with a certain group of people or not. A lot of modern day job jets, jobs will require you to do this test directly or indirectly. How, how directly? Directly mean that they ask you to answer all the test question. Indirectly mean that they have the manager or the team ask you question. And you didn't know that you go through the test by the question and they give you point. And after many questions, they can tell that which group of personality you are and you fit for the job they offer you or not. Or the team like you or not because each team want a different personality to work at their team. And they don't want to have too many same personality in one group. Or sometimes they don't want too many differences in one group. <clears throat> so this daily and this test helpful in that situation to select the right person 
for your team. But at a church, it's different. We don't choose people to work with us, but God send people to us. But why we use the daily in church? This daily help us to understand different people, not to choose them, but to understand them. So we can work with them better. <clears throat> if we know that this is the quiet person and how they think, how they feel, how they react to situation. And we can know that this is the talkative person, the talkative side. So we can know how to work with them, how to help them. And you can guess that when problem happen, how they're going to react. Because the way they think, the way they feel, the way they get information is very clear. So that is the useful of this daily. Okay, I will stop a little bit for your reflection and your question. How you think about the daily. And the author presented here because they say that because we don't know the differences of person and we don't understand them. That's why we have a lot of problems in church. We don't know how to deal with them. We don't know how to work with them. And I believe that in many churches, we already decide this is the problem person. But maybe because we don't understand them, we don't know how to work with them. That's the main thing. So this really try to help us to understand different person, different group of people and how to work with them. So the purpose is not try to find out how to get rid of person that you don't want to work with you, but how to understand them and how to work with them. That the whole purpose of a church to use this daily. <clears throat> okay, comment or question on the part of the daily that we go through. Now, let me put the question closer to you. Now, in simple put, we divide people into main group, quiet person or talkative person, which group you are in. Quiet mean that in most situations, you just don't say, you don't talk. You just listen, no reaction. Talkative means that you will talk a lot in every situation, most situation you will talk. <clears throat> Which group you are? <clears throat> if you already know yourself in which group, now at least you can subdivide yourself in the quiet or in the talkative, but the quiet still have a group, subgroup. The talkative also have a subgroup. I heard American people always say that all Asians are quiet, but in fact, no. Our culture always tell us to be quiet in front of adult or stranger. But in fact, a lot of Asians not quiet. A lot of Asians are talkative. But most of them can think that all Asians are quiet. <clears throat> so how can you know that you are the quiet one or the talkative one? To me, I put my, to me, I put myself in talkative. 
<laughs> and farm it quiet. Why is kind of quiet? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, at least you now divide in two different groups, but in the talkative, you still have a subgroup. And quiet also still have a subgroup to find out who you are in which one. But at least you know that main group, you are quiet or talkative. Introvert and extrovert. <clears throat> at least you need to know first, you are the extrovert or introvert. By looking at yourself or looking at what someone else tell about you, you think that which group you are, introvert or extrovert. Introvert mean quiet. Extrovert in general mean talkative. <clears throat> you know who you are? Yes, I am extrovert. Okay. Why some talk some? What way? What's what we want? What way? Because I, I, I'm not be shy. Either wrong or right. Sometimes I, I try to, you know, talk there. Yeah. The daily really, very really clear, you either one of them. Uh, either Boon, Boon say that I sometimes talk as I'm quiet, but no, Boon it clearly on one side. You ask anyone who knows you can tell you right away that you are quiet or talkative. Maybe talkative, I think. <laughs> John, I think that you know all of us. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, to know that you are quiet or cognitive, that, that the first step, but you need to find out deeper that which subgroup you are. The talkative still have X subgroup. The quiet still have X subgroup. Why we need to know even the subgroup? Because the way you think, the way you react, the way you feel, not the same thing. That help more when you know your group creator <clears throat> and you know your team better. You can work with them and you can assign a certain job that fit their need. And you can solve their problem a lot easier because you know them. <clears throat> when you don't know your team, now you're in the dark. You're guessing what they think. You're guessing what they feel. You're guessing what their reaction is. But if you know that group very well, you can know pretty well that what they're thinking, what they're feeling now, and what they will react after pressure or stress. Is that good if you can do that? <clears throat> Now you can say that I know my son very well. You know that what he's thinking. You know that what he's feeling. You know that what he will react now. If you know your son very well, you can predict what will happen. But a lot of parents don't even know their son or daughter at all. <clears throat> they don't know what their son or daughter thinking. They don't know what they feel now or uh, something they think they know, but no, it's wrong. Why? You spend a lot of time with your children for many years, but you still don't understand them, don't know them. Why? Well, maybe you don't pay attention. Or you always guess without really study or listen to them. Now, this is another problem. People try to show us, people try to tell us what they feel, what they think, but we don't listen. 
we don't listen. We don't hear them. As Jesus always say that the Pharisees have eyes but don't see. They have ear but they don't hear. <clears throat> so what that mean? A lot of time we need to pay attention. And a lot of time people don't tell us straight or direct. Uh, in the American way, we say that you need to lead between the line. They don't tell you directly, but you need to see it. They try to tell you something. A lot of time they don't tell you all up front, but they give you the crew. So you need to learn how to lead the crew. It's like you are the tracker. tracker. You follow some animal or some person. You are the tracker. You have to read all the signs. On the ground, on the bushes, in the air, everything tell you something. So if you pay a lot of attention to detail, you can tell a lot. How people feel, what people are thinking, or what they will react. And this, all, this theory is all about that. But they help you by, if the people do the test and they classify them in a certain group, it's like you have a map about the person. If they're in this subgroup, when the situation happens, you can guess what their reaction will be, what their feeling will be, how they think, how they feel, how they actually act, and what is the good job for them. So this is some kind of theory that going to help us. But as I say that, this is just a guideline though. They don't say that 100% correct because in fact, we are more than 16 groups. We are hundreds or thousands of different groups. But to help us understand people, they lump everyone into 16 groups. But in fact, we are not all 16, we are more than that. But at least they help us to see the people to understand the people better that we are not the same. And especially we have a lot of problem because we use our own feeling, thinking, judgment to decide everyone from our own standard. And that is not correct because we are different. And this daily try to help us <clears throat> When church have problem because we use ourselves as standard and judge everyone. And we think that why that person never understand? Well, because we use our standard to judge them. Some people need more time. And some people come from different experience from us. They don't see the thing that we see. They don't feel the same thing that we feel. They don't think the same way that we think. We are different, come from different background and perspective. And more than that, they're born different. God make them so different from us. Okay, you have reaction? Uh, okay, if not, I would go back to more subgroup. <clears throat> Now you go to the third group, INFJ. This is the uh, introvert, the quiet group, number three. They, they demand knowledge, but they also use their feeling and the judgment a lot. So this group, they are passionate, quiet, 
I stand for introvert. This group always quiet, but even they quiet, they compassionate. Mean that this group care for people. They use their feeling a lot, and their feeling will guide them. They have a good strength. Mean that they can share the vision with other people. They go deeper. <clears throat> So this group have some kind of special sense. They can send a lot of things, a lot of feeling that a lot of people in your group cannot feel. <clears throat> uh, this is the one who always understand other people. This is the group that you need. Uh, this group have a lot of compassion, mean that you can put them in something to help uh, people who have problems, this group of people can do a good job. <clears throat> uh, this group of people have a special feeling to bond with other people, can work with many people. They are the one who compassionate mean that you can send them out to visit people, to help the people who have problem. This group of people can do a good job. Now the fourth group is also the quiet one. They are the yellow group. <clears throat> They're quiet, but this group can think really deep. They are the thinker, T stands for thinking. They can think a lot and deeply. Because they also have an in, in, in that intuition, mean that they can see, can think, and can plan in their head a lot of things that you going to need a lot of plan. This group of people can help you plan a good project. Mm. So this is the thinker of the team. If you found someone, INTJ, introvert, intuition, Thinking, judging, they are good at planning, long plan. They see the future. They can do a lot of things that nobody can see. This is a group of people you can use. <clears throat> they can give new idea and plan that can lead you to the future. But when under stress, they will exhaust it. This is like all the quiet group. When they're under stress, they lost all their strength. But when they're angry, this quiet group can be very angry <clears throat> because they keep it a lot inside themselves. And like all the quiet group, this group is very private reserved, mean that if they don't trust you, they don't know you, they don't tell a thing about themselves, they keep quiet. The fifth quiet group, we call them the woo. They still calm, efficiency, productive. And their strength is because they're so patient, they can tolerate a lot of strength in your team. They can uh, went to crisis with you. They won't give up. So they're going to be a good team for you to help you. <clears throat> But uh, let the emotion uh, a lot. Uh, because they have to rely on their own perception. They think but their own perception. They use the same mean that the feeling lead them a lot. So a lot of things that need a lot of uh, thinking, they can, you can use this group. But be careful because this group of people, let
Now the red group. The sick quiet group we call ISFP. Introvert sense, use their sense, their feeling and perception. So this is very emotional group. Even they quiet. <clears throat> you see, the red mean that their feeling, their emotion come out very straight, very strong too. Even they quiet, but wait until they explode, it's silly. But John, I think your internet have a problem, so we couldn't hear you uh, on the number six. Okay, let me repeat number six. Number six, ISFP. It means that the introvert use the sense, use the feeling, the perception. So the sick group is a quiet group that very emotional. But in front of front, you don't see much, but they keep it under control. But when they ex I find it angry. You hear me well? Not that well, John. Some of them, we can. Yeah. Maybe the internet have some problem, I don't know. <clears throat> but uh, this group, you say we can work with them. We just need to understand them. Uh, they can be emotional sometimes. But the point is, don't make them mad. Try to understand them. Even they're quiet, but they have a limit too. Mm. So the, the whole point is, They don't tell you, but they show you by some other crew. So be careful to read what they don't talk, but what they show you. The seventh group, the seventh group also the quiet group but they also read to mean that they are introvert, intuitive, feeling, perception. What the difference between the seven and the sick? Let's see what the sick mainly is. The sick is introvert, sense, feeling, perception. The difference is N and S. That group use the sense a lot in learning, in reaction, but this group use intuition. Mean that this group still use some thinking, but feeling and perception still a big thing for them. They are the red hot too. Mean that even they quiet, they can express, they can have a very strong feeling too. So in order to work with this group of people, they can be a good helper to you. They're quiet. They can help you solve a lot of problems, but the emotion can be 
ex explosive in the meeting. So when they have a strong feeling or idea, you need to listen to them and give them a chance to show what they think. <clears throat> so don't try to keep them quiet because they're already quiet, but when they want to talk, let them talk. Now the last group of the quiet group, we call them INTP. INTP mean that they are introvert, quiet. Mean that you rarely say uh, hear him or her talk a words in the whole meeting. Or most of the time, you never hear them express their feeling at all because they think a lot, they plan a lot, and they don't tell. So this group will show by their work, not by their talking. They don't express themselves. They don't show their feeling. They keep it. So you can work with this group of people, respect them, give them room. They have a limitation of their personal space too. Respect that. And give them time when they're ready to talk or to express themselves, listen to them. So mainly about the quiet group, how to work with the quiet group. The first eight group are quiet group, how to work with them. Now you see that the eight quiet group, they don't talk. They don't show much in normal situation. But in order to work with them, you need to respect them, show them that you care. The quiet group don't talk much or never talk at all. So you need to look what they show you. Look at the crew, the action. They every time to tell you something. So you need to observe all the time and confirm with them this is what they feel, what they think, because they won't say it. A lot of time they don't say a word or they don't tell you much. So you need to read their mind. You need to know what they're thinking. And you need to give them time to express themselves or respect the action. And you can work with them. A lot of time we misjudge them because they're quiet. We think that they don't think anything, they don't feel anything, but they feel the thing. And they have a lot of things inside them but a lot of time we overlook them. But they are very important group in your team because they are the thinker, they are the planner, and they can do a lot of things for you and with you. Now that the egg fight quiet group, after this, we will talk about the talkative group. Now in general, how you think about the quiet group, you see those a lot in your team, in your church. <clears throat> in general, they say that a lot of women are quiet and a lot of men are talkative. Now that in general, you agree with that saying? <clears throat> Okay, we'll see you next week, Boon. Okay, bye bye. Well, they say that the little thing you need to see the woman when they are with women, they are, they are little quiet or talkative. 
when they are with their friend, with their group. A lot of women be quiet because they are in, with men, but when they're with women, they talk a lot. So it means they are not quiet. But culture and society make women quiet, not their own personality. So you see that a lot of time people are quiet not because of their personality, but because of law, rule, culture, situation. Now we talk about the real person. The real person is quiet or talkative. A lot of times you meet just someone because of culture, society. Not, you don't know them real personality. <clears throat> In a Tian culture, if you are small or young and you work with the old people, you tend to be quiet because you respect all people. That's a culture, that is not your personality. So your personality might crash with your culture or your situation, but you see yourself because of your personality is very clear. Now the Oops, sorry. I lost you again. Okay, now did you see the screen? <clears throat> 